Hi, in this video I'll be demonstrating how to set up the Major Tech MTD-8 timer. If you're using this timer, you can follow the same procedure. I just open the front cover. Right, the unit has already been set. To reset the unit, just to press inside here, there's a reset button. You can use a toothpick or a pen, and I press inside there and it resets the unit. Right, so I'm first going to set the date and time. I need to depress this button over here, which is the clock button, and I can start with the D plus button. So I press the D plus button. Notice at the top of the screen, it's going Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. As you can see, it's toggling all the days. Today is Friday, so I'm going to leave it on Friday. I keep the clock button depressed in, and I can go to the H plus, which is the hours. I'm going to set this to the current time at the moment, which is 7.45. All right, to set the minutes, I follow the same procedure. I press and hold the clock button down, and then I hold in the minute plus button. Notice it is incrementing it automatically. The current time is 7.45, so I'm now going to press this manually to get finer control, and there is the current time and date. Right, now I'd like to set some timing sequences for a geezer. Let's say, for example, I want the geezer to come on every day at 4 a.m. I press the P button once, notice there's a 1 there. This is my first program, and also notice there's an on there. This is the on time, so I need to first choose the day. Do I want it every day, every day excluding Sunday, weekdays only, Weekends, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, or I can set an individual day. Now, in this case, because it's a geezer, I'm going to set it for every day. Now, I must choose the time that the geezer must come on. So, I said I want it to come on at 4 a.m. Right, so it will come on at 4 a.m. Now, I'd press P one more time, and there it says program one. Off. What time do I want it to go off? I'm going to set it for 6.30 a.m. I first got to choose the day. Now, because I set it to go on every day, I'm going to also set it to go off every day. So I'm going to now select the time. I'm going to make it 6.30 a.m. Right, so program one is now complete. If I'd like to set a second timing sequence, I press P again, and it's now taking me to number two. The second programming sequence, and what time will it go on? Now, say for example, I want it to go on at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Which day? Well, I can set every day and then the time. In this case, I want it to go on at 4 o'clock, so it's 1600 hours, and I can just set this to zero by pressing and holding it so that it can scroll through all the numbers until it gets to zero. Right, now I must just remember to set the off time, and I only want the geezer to stay on for two and a half hours, so I'm just going to select the day again and change this to two and a half hours. So it'll come on at four o'clock and it'll go off at 6.30. Right, so the time and date has been set and I have some programs that have been set. The geezer will come on every morning at 4 a.m. It will then go off at 6.30 every morning. It will then come on again every day 4 p.m. and then go off every day at 6.30 p.m. Now on this unit there are at least 15 programs that you can create. Now this at the bottom here says auto off. What that means is that the unit is currently in the auto mode, meaning that at 4 a.m. tomorrow morning the time will activate automatically. So that means the unit is currently in the auto position and the unit is off because the programming sequence is currently set to off. I already set the timer that it goes off at half past six and that's why it says auto off off. If you want to manually override this, I just press the manual button and then it says on. What that means is it will just stay on irrespective. Now notice this LED has gone on. That means that the unit is now active. If you had wired this to a geezer, your geezer would now be on irrespective of your timing programs. So if your timer says on, it will be on permanently irrespective of whatever you have programmed in the timing sequences. So even though I have these programs, those programs will be ignored because I have manually overridden it and it is now permanently on. If I press the manual button again, it will say on auto. That means it will stay on until the first automatic timing sequence. So if I go look at my program, it comes on at 4. It will stay on from now. 4 o'clock will come. It will remain on. Then it goes off at 6.30. So that means that the unit will stay on till 6.30 tomorrow morning. If I press it again, it says off. That means it is off permanently, irrespective of what's programmed in these sequences here. So even though the unit is programmed to go on at 4 a.m. tomorrow morning, it will not go on because I've manually overridden it to be off. 
Right, just a tip, if you are in the programming mode and if you want to exit the programming mode, you just press the clock button, takes you back to the clock. Another tip is if you want to clear one of the programs, you just press manual and there you can see it is now cleared. Thanks for watching and cheers.